welcome to the vlog. Would you like any cream or sugar in the medium iced coffee or the medium brown sugar cold cream, brew? Cream and mine. Uh, um, in the iced coffee, just caramel. In, All right. In the brown sugar cold brew, one cream. One cream? Or, uh, All right, well, anything else for you? Want more than one cream or one cream? Whatever regular cream. Oh, just cold brew. I'm sorry. How, how many cream usually come in the cold brew? Uh, the hey, y'all. Starting everything up. Uh, it's three o'clock. No, it's three thirty-three. Oh my goodness! I wanted to come down here by three o'clock, but you know, I was editing a vlog and I just got it done, and now it's saving. But I am working on orders. I got quite a few um, that need to get out. I found two at the post office. Like, I'm going to order some because I normally order them from um, the post office so I just didn't have any but I did pick up these two little fat quarters at Walmart just because I've been selling more of the one the design the back to school design that I made with this one and so I was thinking oh no I don't know how much I think I've I don't know if I got any of these up there. But just to, you know. I just picked up two. I could have got more, but I was like, oh. Actually, I probably should. Just in case they discontinue it and I can't find it anymore. Um, but while we were at, went to the post office, I stopped by Joanne's. Because the place I went to, at our post office, and they didn't have any. And then... We were going to go by Duncan, and so we were stopped at a different post office. That was by Joanne, so um, I just picked up one Tender Touch with a 40% coupon, and then I got a 50% off on my receipt, and I'm like, but I do need to buy more. I've been going through it a lot since I've been doing a lot of back-to-school shirts, so um, the rule I've been using is pretty much gone. Then I have this roll, but this has, I don't know what's the deal, but you can almost see it right here. It has like this much, so you can see where it kind of turns. This much is like really, it's like they doubled the, the stuff or something. It's just really like stiff and when you put it on the shirts, it's like really rough on one side um, so I don't tend to use it just because it's like really stiff and hard on one just just on that little I mean I can cut this off and I have done that in the past but you know anyway I did need more because that's all there is of that one I think I did finish up that other roll no oh, I didn't this is what I got left of the other roll. So I just prefer 
to use this sulky tenor touch because it is nine yards, nine yards, eight inches, and it's usually the perfect amount just to kind of roll up, cut, and it covers a design. Uh, I know you can buy it by the yard and that kind of thing, but this is just one I prefer. And when you buy it with a coupon, it's not as bad. Um, this one actually was $11 and something just because of, I only had a 40% off coupon. Which doesn't seem right because normally, <clears throat> I'll have to look on my receipt because obviously the price has probably gone up. Um, I can't say whether or not it has because I don't know, but um, I can't open it. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and put it on my shelf. First things first. <gasps> you guys. Should I return it? I think I might return it and exchange it. It's got the same thing. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like this much of it. It's almost like the edge or I don't know if you can tell. Can you guys see that? Like it's really stiff on this edge. Like really, like this is soft over here. Like all this, like I can push it in and it is soft over here it is like hard oh lordy i should have i should have opened it up in store and checked myself mm. it's like you can almost see like little dots too like this is the edge i might return it because that's one of the reasons why I don't like using that roll right here is because half of it is hard and I, when I put it I have used it on a shirt and you can totally feel like that edge and it's stiff and it's just like but then I feel like if I go and complain they're going to be like it's tender touch it's normal what are you talking about I don't know I'll see but I don't want to keep something I'm not going to use. I don't want to pay $10 on something I'm not going to use. Um, anyway. I am going to... These are some of my orders from yesterday. Um, yeah, I need to package up. This one, I wasn't too sure how it was going to turn out. Um, they wanted light pink for the name I always um, tell people I don't tell them directly but in my listings I put you know darker shades show up best for the names because I don't think people are aware like when they do it I have people that will like, oh, put the name in white if they have a white um, apron whereas I could see you know our um, they did a white name on a purple apron and yes white would show up on purple but when you're doing the name it's going inside of a rolling pin so I don't think a lot of people take that into consideration like this one is going on this gold rolling pin and so you know actually it doesn't look bad um, a darker color would definitely show up a lot better but I think that still looks good with the light name so Anyway, and then these are the, I've got, I think this is for a birthday party. Um, they ordered four aprons, but they wanted all the names in capital letters, so. Um, and this is the one I needed the, the mailer for. Why does that apron look shorter? I don't know. Anyway, um, so I am going to, let's score, <clears throat> start work right now, I got quite a few, I'm going to make taco salad.
for dinner and it's the same one I did um, before I filmed it I showed you all it's um, the ones with Doritos uh, so you can like totally you know make that salad any way you want to you can add whatever you want the key ingredient is just like taco meat and then crushed up Doritos so um, we thought about av adding because I already add like black olives it just adds a little extra to it um, and then we are going to add avocado cut up avocado in it so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight it is Wednesday is it Wednesday? Yeah, it is Wednesday. I'm like, what's today? Um, and then on tomorrow, Thursday, I'm going to make barbecue ribs. It's, um, can't even think of it. It's pork. What is it called? Boneless something? I can't even think of what it's called. Country style? I think it's country style ribs. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to make those in the crock pot. Like let them cook all day in the crock pot. And then um, take them out and add more barbecue sauce. And then just put them in the oven to broil. So it kind of makes them a little crispy on the outside. So good. And I'll probably do a macaroni salad. And there was something else I was going to do, and I don't remember what it was. What the heck? Oh, I did, oh, baked beans, because Journey loves her baked beans. And I don't remember what else, but... This is an apron right here, and it's got blue, like, just kind of... It's sewn onto it, but it's like, yeah, weird. <laughs> I'm going to um, what is up with these aprons? <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. It's just so these are the aprons I get from Amazon. I get a lot of people to ask. So they come in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there is a blue, red, purple, lime, yellow, emerald green, hot pink, and orange. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, before I lose my train of thought again, <laughs> tomorrow I'll probably have Papa and Uncle Brian come back. For dinner they were here yesterday and tonight is just gonna be that easy taco night and I don't believe they have to pick peaches tonight hopefully not um, I'm trying to nail us down a beach trip to Myrtle Beach it's just hard to okay so there's just a lot of factors that go in and I know it shouldn't it's not as easy as oh we're just gonna go to the beach it's like and by no means am, am I like being mean or rude about it. Um, but he's like, he has to ask his dad and brother if they want to go, which is totally fine. I totally understand that. You know what I mean? Um, but then if they, my husband and his dad, and his brother they're all the same kind of like where they need to know ever you know they need to know it all it needs to all be already worked out and planned out and stuff like that for the planner who has to plan these things I can't say okay this is when we're going because I don't know what peaches are so I don't know if they have to pick peaches if the peaches will be ripe if they so it's it's so hard to try to plan something to give them like okay this is this is 
the dates, this is where it would be, and then for them to decide on yes or no, they want to go. Does that make sense? So, it's just, it's, it's just a lot. I'm like, if, if they don't, like, if we just say, okay, this is when we're going, but then again, if they're going, I have to have a bigger space place than if it was just us. If it was just us, we can get by with, you know, technically we could get by with two beds. Um, but I kind of thought if we had a, cause a lot of the, um, hotels are kind of set up the same or the Airbnb places, condos that we rent are the same where you walk in and there is a bedroom with either two double beds or sometimes they just have a king bed and then you walk through a door and there's a little kitchen and off the kitchen is a bathroom and then you keep going so it's like a long narrow you know bedroom kitchen and then living room and then in the living room there's usually a door that that you can shut to the kitchen and shut on the other side to the living room and then in there is usually a, either a, a sofa bed like pulls out of the sofa or they have like the Murphy bed that pulls down. So a lot of them are always set up that way. Not, you know, just like a lot that we have saw. And so, um, yeah, so if, you know, we can get by with one of those and it would be really cheap. But if Papa and Uncle Brian are going, then we have to add another room into it. So, and on top of all that, <clears throat> if Alyssa's going to go, she has to go before school starts. And that starts like in two weeks. So, um, just trying to find a place that's reasonably priced that can accommodate either or. Um, that way Papa and Uncle Brian can be like, yes, we're going or no, we're not going. If it no, then I can book one of these other place other places and if they are then fine. I could find you know, it's just it's just a whole lot of whole lot of a lot of figuring out. So hopefully I want to go. Um I don't have to go, obviously, but you know, we don't live that far. It's not like it's, you know, eight hours away. Um technically it's just a little it's about four with traffic. Um we could probably get down there in like three, three and a half, but just depends on what time we leave and the traffic in Columbia. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to work and I will try to film some of what I'm working on. Um, How's your taco salad? So good. I don't even taste the guacamole. Put it's, rubbing on my It's feet. not guacamole, it's avocados. Can you do a cannonball? Yes, cannonball! I let my ducks out for a little while. Can't leave them out for long, the neighbors will get mad. So, we're just out for now. Goats are being lazy, laying down eating. We got Ron. Ron, what are you doing? Come up here. Come up here. How's my boy doing? Hmm? How's my main man, Ronald? Your eyes better, huh? What do you think? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Ronald. What do you think of them ducks, Ron? Hmm? What do you think? Oh, you think I want to play with you? I don't want to play. You get rough, Ron. You're rough. Rough, Ron. Ron had a sore eye. Oh, it's so much better.
<laughs> ah, you goofy goober. What? 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 Who wants to go to the beach next weekend? Raise your hand. went ahead and shut everything shut the machines down it is 10 19 at night I'm going to go ahead and call it a day even though there is probably about I think nine more on my list that I need to um, stitch out but um, so my turnaround time let me just kind of backtrack and explain just a little bit. So my turnaround time, I had it set, um, it's still set that way, uh, for I think it's about a 12 day turnaround time-ish. So um, when people order, I don't remember if it says, hold on making sure this isn't the one that was sticky because I would die if I were in the shirt. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to turn it inside out and then press it. I'm just, um, I like to press it once just to make sure everything sticks. The um, HTV that I used in the applique design. Anyway, what I was saying. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Oh, my turnaround time. I have it set at where it would be such and such to such and such business days, which technically averages out to about 12 days. And that's what I want it in instead of it being two weeks. But in all of my notes and everything and most of my listings, I say turnaround time is 14 days. Now, whether they go by, you know, the estimated shipping that Etsy gives them, which we all know they don't read anyway, um, but some of the, some of the ones that I'm doing, because they were placed on a weekend, okay, so it like, um, I did all the orders that were placed on the 15th and today is the 27th. So that's 12 days. Um, and then it also had the orders that 
placed on the 16th and the 17th. I'm assuming it was a weekend. I don't even really know. Let me look. You ever like, how can I not find anything on my phone? Okay, so the 15th was a Friday. So I got all of the 15th orders done. Um, so it, the way it's set up, so it's kind of like when, um, if you have it at a two week turnaround time and you get those weekend orders on, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they'll put them all to that Friday before. So, you know, on some of them, it hasn't been the two weeks yet. So it's kind of, it's doing basically the same thing, but it's dumping them all on Thursday. Like they would ship Thursday. So it's taking your Friday, your Saturday, and your Sunday because it's going off from business days. So um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, their business days would be Monday through Monday, which would be six. S Tuesday would be eight. Wednesday would be nine. And Thursday would be 10. So I don't, I honestly don't know. I'm like, I'm so confused. So I had like half a billion orders that needed to ship today. I say that. I think it was more like, well, if there's nine here, and I had nine, I think it was 18 orders that I was supposed to ship today. Or tomorrow and a majority of them not a majority of them but several of them are multiple items so um, I'm gonna finish packaging up my battery light is flashing I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys thanks for watching hey tomorrow bye guys